In this video tutorial, I will show you how to knit the honeycomb stitch. To work this stitch pattern, you need to cast an even number of stitches. The pattern repeats every two stitches down the row and every four rows. The first row is a preparation row where we need to establish the pattern. Then, pattern repeats from the second to the fifth row. This is the right side of my swatch. And here how it looks on the wrong side. As you can see, the honeycomb texture is on the right side only. To begin, I cast on 14 stitches. Two stitches, the first one and the last one, are the H stitches, and my pattern takes 12 stitches. Begin knitting the first row. This is the preparation row, and it is a right side row. Slip the H stitch purlwise. Then I will knit one. Then do yarn over and slip the next stitch purlwise. That is our pattern repeat. Again, knit a stitch, then yarn over and slip the next stitch purlwise. Let's get started. Knit a stitch, then yarn over, counterclockwise, and slip the next stitch purlwise. Here we have a slipped stitch and a yarn over. Continue repeat, knit one, then yarn over and slip the next stitch purlwise. Again, knit one, yarn over, slip the next stitch purlwise. Continue and work the same till the end of this row. Knit a stitch, yarn over and slip the next stitch. Knit one, yarn over and slip the next stitch purlwise. Now purl the last stitch, which is the eighth stitch, and the first row is completed. Now turn the work and begin knitting the second row. This is the wrong side. Slip the eighth stitch on the beginning of the row, then knit the next stitch and the yarn over together. Then do yarn over and slip the next stitch purlwise. Let's begin. Knit a stitch and the yarn over together, insert the needle knitwise into two loops and knit them together. Then yarn over counterclockwise and slip the next stitch purlwise. Repeat, knit a stitch with the yarn over together, then yarn over and slip the next stitch. Continue the same. Knit two together, a stitch and a yarn over. Then yarn over and slip the next stitch. Again, knit two together, a stitch and a yarn over. Then yarn over and slip a stitch. Knit two together yarn over and slip. And the last time knit a stitch and a yarn over together. Then do yarn over and slip the next stitch purlwise. Now purl the last stitch to complete the row. Here we've completed row two. Turn the work and begin row 3. This is the right side. Again, slip the eighth stitch purlwise. And now knit a stitch. Do not work with the yarn over yet. Knit this stitch. Then continue slip the yarn over purlwise and knit the next two stitches. 
one and two. Again, slip the yarn over purl wise and knit the next two stitches. One and two. Then slip the yarn over and knit two. One and two. Again, slip the yarn over and knit two. Work like this till the end of the row. Here, knit two, one and two. Slip the yarn over. On the end of the row, knit one and purl the last eight stitch. Row three is made. Now turn the work and begin row four. This is the wrong side. Slip the first eight stitch purl wise. Then we need to do yarn over and slip this purl stitch. Then knit a stitch with the yarn over together. Let's begin. Yarn over, slip a stitch purl wise and knit two together, a stitch and the yarn over. Knit them together. Repeat again, yarn over, slip the next stitch, then knit the next stitch and the yarn over together. Continue the same, yarn over, slip one, and knit a stitch with the yarn over together. Again, yarn over, slip, and knit two together, a stitch and the yarn over. And the last time, yarn over, slip the next stitch, then knit a stitch and the yarn over together. And to complete the row, purl the last stitch. We've just completed row four. Now turn the work and knit row five. This is the right side. Slip the eighth stitch on the beginning, then knit two stitches and slip the yarn over purlwise. So knit two, one and two, then slip the yarn over and repeat knit two, one and two and slip the yarn over purlwise. Again, knit two and slip the yarn over. Knit one and two and slip the yarn over. Again, knit two and slip the yarn over. And the last time, knit two stitches, one and two and slip the yarn over. Purl the last eight stitch on the end to complete the row. Here I completed the fifth row. I remind you that the first row is a preparation row. Pattern repeats from the second to the fifth row. So the sixth row work as the second one, the seventh as the third one and so on. This is how our honeycomb pattern looks on the right side. Because of these extra strands on the right side, the fabric is double layered, which makes it warmer. And this pattern is good for a hat or a scarf. I remind you that for this pattern, you need to cast on even number of stitches. Pattern repeats every two stitches and four rows from the second to the fifth one. This is the right side of my swatch. And this is its wrong side. 
Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to our channel for more free tutorials.